What's up, nature freaks? What's going on, guys? Dave and Jeremy back at it. Now, we are in southern Illinois right now. And why are we down here, Dave? Well, there's actually a couple reasons. Today is April 8th, and it's the eclipse. So eclipse. we're not super interested in that. But hey, we're down here, and supposedly, it's a great view down here. So we'll do that. And it's our first herping adventure of the year here in Illinois. So yeah, this is like the, the Mecca. It was one of those places on the map. And it's ridiculous. We normally camp down here, and we went to the campground. We got here at like what one one a.m. because we were like, we'll get ahead of the crowd, dude. Slammed <laughs> pat. There are so many people down here. We literally just slept on the side of a dirt road in the van. Yep. Whatever. And um, but we're hoping that the lunar activity makes these snakes go crazy, and so that's why we're down here to catch that. And it is like you said, it's beautiful. It's clear, so we'll get a good view of the uh, eclipse. Yep. All right, guys. So. Uh... We're going to paddle to one of our favorite secret places and we're going to see if we can get on some snakes and other herps. Asian yeah, carp. Asian carp. <laughs> so get ready for a little nature in your face. Nature in your face! Got a snake. Can I have one already? Yeah, a decent sized rat snake in a branch if you want to come over. All right, guys, just found my first snake. I'm hoping that my camera is picking, picking this up. But there is a ah, juvenile rat snake, maybe a little older. And he is just sitting, looking like a stick, on a stick. If you see him, he's resting <laughs> half horizontal, half vertical. If you can see him, you can see that kinked body. I'm gonna just sit here and admire him because once he knows that I'm here, he's probably gonna try to take off. I'm not gonna touch him. I'm just gonna look at him. Jeremy's on his way over. Pretty cool, our first snake of the year, right here. He's doing the head sway. Keep your head moving. Tongue flicking. Seeing who are these giant beasts. I love when they climb. I know, it's so cool. Still has this juvenile pattern, which is sweet. That's pretty amazing. First snake of the year, Jeremy. Heck yeah. And a good one. I love rat snakes. Yep. Oh yeah, you can really see the pattern now. I'm going to zoom in on that. As juveniles, they look completely different. They're like a lighter color than that pattern. Look at that. That is so cool. Yep. Oh, I'm getting a good video of them just climbing just like holding on to that tree not an issue he's a good whatsoever. he's a good five feet off the ground right now and climbing he'll probably go way up there all right guys I think I'm done with this guy but very cool okay. first snake of the year first snake baby A little sketchy. Jeremy just spotted our second snake. Oh Whoa. crap! Holy crap! My head, like, right oh my gosh! Snake. I got that on video. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is it a cottonmouth? Yeah, it's a cottonmouth. I th Holy cow, yeah, guys! Yeah, that was not. That was not set up. Holy cow! He was in this crack, and I thought he went down. Whoa! He just struck at me. Yeah, he's on the ground. Okay, where is he? Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Woo! Hang on. Hang on. Just fell. Oh crap, I can't get him. Oh yeah, he's, where is he? he's right here in front of me. Oh, there it is. The ninja cotton mouth. It was in a crevice and I saw it from down below. And then I went up. Oh, I'm falling. I'm falling. I saw it in here. And I thought, and it disappeared. And so I went to shove my face in there, and it was up above in this uh, leaf pile. And a thing just struck at my face. Yeah, that was a, it was a dumb move on my half. That's probably the first time a cottonmouth has ever struck at us. Yeah, it, I, I scared it. I know, but we've walked right by these things, and they haven't you know, yeah. struck at us. 
and it was it was probably a mock strike just hey back up here I am you're getting too close but it wasn't smart of me to put my face that close so you think that's the same one yeah it has to be but it would have had to gone up yeah why well, I, I wasn't watching it yeah, that's and all of a sudden it just like disappeared it's only about foot and a half it's a really light pattern no red I can barely see it. I'm looking at your screen right now. I can see the head, but yeah. I can't see the body from where I'm Pretty cool, though. All right, guys. I don't know where Jeremy is. I'm trying to call him on the radio. It's not a huge deal, but there is a massive rat snake. It's three, four times the size of the one that I found when we first got here. Look at the size of this thing here. We're going to start at the head, and we'll go all the way back here. That is, that is a monster rat snake. Very cool. Now, there's another snake out here that looks very similar. And that would be the racer. They also have a black body and they've got white under the chin. But um, pretty easy to tell the difference if you know what to look for. One of the uh, field marks or characteristics of the rat snakes are this you can see how the body's kinked. I mean, it almost looks like an accordion. That would never happen with the racer. Also, the body in general is almost shaped like a loaf of bread. It's flat at the bottom and it's almost like a tunnel shape on the top where it meets the vent on each side. A couple easy ways to tell. Let's see if we can get close to them. Look at this, look at this snake guys, <laughs> that is a big, healthy rat snake. Yep. Beautiful. This one has a lot of white in his between it. It wants to light me up in that face. He's got so some that orange on his belly, you see that? He's got those red scales. Oh yeah, look at that. You are a biggin. What have you been eating out here? I was going to say, he, his body Oops, is sorry. fat. He looks like he, uh, he had a meal recently. Okay. Up here, up here. Up here, up here, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm letting go of this branch. All right, here. that is so cool. Oh, uh, man, if you don't like red snakes, we don't like you. All right, here we are. That's how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Start. No, it's not okay yet. Don't take your glasses off yet. <laughs> Oh, I've been looking at it. Holy look at crap. At look at it good now. Oh Whoa. my gosh, that is so awesome. Yo. No! Yo! Oh, no! Man, look at that. It is Whoa. dark. Oh. oh my goodness. I can't oh, even see. Oh wow! Like wow. Holy cow. Dude, it is, it is so dark wow. out here. It is crazy dark. It is 2 p.m. in the middle of the day. There's a plane right here. Yeah, there yeah. There it goes. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, oh, my eyes. Oh. oh my gosh, that is bright. Wow. All right. My eyes! I turned wow. my camera off. It's going back so fast. Yeah. On the lookout for the timber. A little trek. Try to see if we can find some den sites and get on a timber, baby. That is the goal. All right, well, this is pretty awesome. We were up on these bluffs checking these ridges, and we just apparently found a timber rattlesnake den that we did not even know was up here. And this one looks like it hasn't eaten in a while, so it's probably just emerging from the den. I mean, it's really, really skinny. I mean, look at that thing. Yeah, I'm excited. We got our timber. And like Dave was saying, this guy is really skinny. It's an adult male, so he's fully grown. He's probably just um, lost a lot of weight due to hibernating. But he's going to get out there, catch some meals, thicken up a little bit. Um, but I'm stoked. We came here to get a timber, and we got one. Booyah. And unfortunately, we're not going to get the best footage because that thing's tucked up pretty tight in that den. And obviously, we're not going to try to get it out. But 
hey, we came down here to find a timber rattlesnake, so we'll take it. Mission accomplished. Heck yeah. Got him. All right, well, we just found a really cool snake that's often confused for a ring neck snake. This is a red belly, and it's in the same genus as a much more commonly encountered snake down here, and that would be the Decay's brown snake. Biggest difference being, obviously, that bright red belly. But this one's fossorial, and it's not common. I think it's only the second one that we've ever found down here. Is it a blade of grass? Is it a creeping vine on the ground? Nope. It's a rough green snake. And it's trying to fool us. Moving on the ground like a vine. Awesome snake. Looks better in the tree, but found it on the road. Super cool. Alright, well it might be called snake road, but there's also turtles on the road. But what's cool about this turtle is it's one of the smallest turtle species on the planet. I'm just going to put my pinky in there. Look at the size of that turtle. That is a hatchling stink pot turtle, also known as a musk turtle. Just look at that thing. Teeny it looks tiny. like a little tiny rock. Yeah, look how cute this is. Unbelievable. Yeah, that thing, yeah, that might have They don't get real it. big. They're small turtle species. No, they're like a three inch carrot, uh, carapace. That's how small they are. I mean, look at all the duckweed next to it. And it's just down here. Yep. The only reason I saw it is I saw those, there's like those little white dots at the uh, mm -hmm, edge the of the edge. Uh, carapace. And I saw that and I was like, that's a turtle. Yeah. Super the cool. marginals, I think they're called. Yep. Cool. Nice. All right. Boom, guys. We got a copperhead on the way out. Check out this beautiful snake. What a perfect way to end this day. We're going to go ahead and end this episode right here. If you guys enjoyed hanging out with us in Southern Illinois, leave a comment. Make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, get on it. And we will catch you on the next episode. Peace.